Hello, my name is Julio Herlin. I am composer and also professor of the music department at University of Rio Grande do Sul, south of Brazil. I'd like to show you this abstraction I am developing using PD software. This abstraction is used to convert sequences of integer numbers in additive rhythms. This is a part of a larger patch that also features a piano roll with 10 voice polyphony, a midi orchestrator and also a partitioner for rearranging series of tones. Pitch and rhythm are processed separately and we can specify different rhythms for the same series of tones or chords providing a more elastic environment than the usual linear sequencing. In this way we can provide multiple rhythmical sketches to the same series of notes and chords, unifying the material. This particular abstraction is part of a rhythm engine designed to provide material for composition. When using PD in Mac OS X, it's possible to use an external colored notes developed by Jamie Oliver La Rosa at New York University Waverly Labs. This external object links PD software with Lily Pond and Gene so you can encode your PD patch result into a notation code for engraving. It also produces a PDF output and a MIDI file of the material instantly so you can edit it later at your favorite notation software like Muses, Core, Sibelius or Final. Uh, I'd like to show you my abstraction that is used to convert a series of numbers and rhythms. So let's take a look. Thanks for watching. Let's try the number one. As you can see, the result is a series of 16 notes. Let's try a more complex series of notes. I'm going to copy from this message and paste over the, the one in this message. So we're going to hear. Second repetition. Third repetition. I'm going to stop now. So let's see the results. As you can see, it matches in music annotation exactly the series of notes that I inputted in the message box. Let's try another series of integers. 1, 2, 1, then 4, then 1, then 1 again, then 2, another 2, then 1, then another 1. Let's hear how it sounds. Let's see the result of this regular rhythm. Now using the same sequence I'm going to change the time signature of the output for 3-4 measure. Going to play the same sequence again. Stop and see the result. As you can see it's the same sequence but this time is 3 4 time signature. Let's take a look on, a, on another feature of this abstraction. This number is the frequency of rest. So putting the number 1 here means that every one note will be alternated with one rest. In the next example, instead of a rest, we're going to hear a different pitch in another piano row. As you can see, it's alternating one note, one rest. Let's take a look at the result. Now let's change the number to 3 and see what happens. As you can see, 3 notes and one rest now let's change it to 4.
Now we have four notes and one rest, four notes and one rest, etc. Now let's try composite combinations of rests like one, four, and then two. Now the result is one note, one rest, four notes, one rest, two notes, one rest, etc. This composite patterns of rests goes throughout the sequence. Now let's try a composite combinations of integers like one, then two, then one, over um, a frequency of rests equal one. And the result is that every value is alternated with rest, and the rest is correspondent to the original value. So the result is that you have one as a note, two as a rest, one as a note, one as a rest, two as a note, one as a rest. And the pattern is going to repeat every two bits. Now let's try a composite combinations of rests with the composite combinations of integers. The composite combinations of rests will be 1 and 3. Let's listen. Let's see the result. One rest, three notes, one rest, one note, one rest, three notes, one rest, but always preserving the sequences. Try one more example alternating the frequency of rests with different values like 1 and uh, a larger number like 10 then uh, a small number like like 1 and then um, 5 then 1 let's see longer pattern alternating different sizes of rests and notes. As a last example we're going to take a fractal sequence number named the Kolakowski sequence that I took from the online encyclopedia of integer sequences founded by the great mathematician Neil Sloan. Here is the result. Now, as an experience, let's take the same Kolakowski sequence and use it as the sequence of integers and also as the sequence of rests. Here is the result, a more complex alternation between rests and notes.